to All it. All right, so let's get into Lift Every Voice and Sing Till Earth and Heaven Ring. Yeah. I didn't see that in the notes. I just felt it. Anyway, oh, okay. singer Andrea Day performed <laughs> Lift Every Voice and Sing, a.k.a. the Black National Anthem at Super Bowl 58 this past Sunday. And, of course, it was met with tons of resistance from conservative pundits. You know, they, uh, the sentiments are usually, it's divisive! And, you know, the always great, uh, there's only one national anthem. Um, <laughs> one oh. of my favorite pundits, Megan Kelly, said on X, the so-called Black National Anthem does not belong at the Super Bowl. We already have a national anthem, and it includes everybody. She got an intense reaction from people on her own side and people who don't like her already. Because, you know, people don't really, you know, after the whole debacle when she went over to try to do the mainstream stuff, Megyn Kelly, you know, she's been she's been public enemy number one. But do, Prince, do you agree with um, Megyn's right wing and her, and her right wing pundits' uh, sentiments? No, I do not. And oh. this and this is why I don't agree with it. Because it's oh. right on course with, as you say, AJ, all the time, the identity politics of it that the Republican Party, the conservatives, they suck at really, really bad. Think about this. If you really want to, to hasten people not thinking that you're the racist party, you're the dog whistle party, you're the party that doesn't want black people to have any type of fun, you know, all those things you say about conservatives and Republicans, then why the fuck would you go against the black national anthem? What, what is the point? What is it hurting you? I had to sit through fucking Reba McIntyre sing oh. the American fucking hey, anthem. Hey, so, hey. No, no, no. She's going to catch these strays. She's going to catch these strays. <laughs> oh. I hate country music, and I had to listen through that shit. So guess what? You're going to listen through the black national anthem. I, I, I don't understand this fight with everything that has to s do with the slither of blackness. It's like, no, 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 no. It's like, stop. Now, if a black person is out front and unloading the Uzi on a bunch of white people, yes, speak out. But if they're singing the flag before the American Super Bowl that, by the way, is 70% black, let it go, Megan. Fight another war. I'm telling you, Republicans, conservatives, you're getting on my mm. nerves. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. <laughs> you okay. said what you said. <laughs> all righty then. Well, uh, let's just start here, first of all. Okay, Reba wasn't that bad. Okay, wasn't I'm that a bad. Survivor. Wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what I think it was? I think it was the fact that we were all together. Maybe you were just a little bit delusional. But that's neither here nor there. Um, we have somebody in our audience currently right now, uh, Vaughn, oh. who thinks that it's divisive as well. Uh, you know, the black man who doesn't like the black national anthem. But here's one thing I want to be clear. It's not even the black national anthem. <laughs> it's just a hymn that we have coined the black national anthem. Right. So how divisive can it really be when that's not really what it is? <laughs> I mean, let's, let's just be honest, okay? It's just another song, like, what is it? The Star Spangled Banner, I don't know. What is the America the Beautiful? I don't know, like, it's, it's just another song that represents unity of the people, right? It's not the Black National Anthem. I promise you guys right now, if this, they just said, Someone, they say when announced, someone's here to sing Lift Every Voice. If you guys just listen to the song and said, oh, that's a nice song, we wouldn't be here. But because it's been coined the Black National Anthem, which it's not, then this is why we have a problem. That's why it's divisive. If you really think about it, what did that, when did that come about? What they started doing it in what, 2019, 2020, after George Floyd? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is when they started I know, singing I know, the song. I know, I know the NBA started right before before George Floyd, but then the NFL started after George Floyd. Right. So, I mean, realistically, it's just a song. It's a song. What 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 are we doing right now? 
And then we got this idiot. Sometimes she needs to just sit down. I get <laughs> silence, be quiet, think she through your thoughts. Sandwich. You know what it is though? A lot of times it's like strike while the iron's hot, right? So let's just see how much controversy we can bring to ourselves. Let's see how much attention we can get. So if we say the opposite of what people are thinking, it just, I mean, that's what you're gonna get. But the truth right. be told, it's not even the black national anthem. It's a, it's a hymn, like that's it, you know? Facts. See, daddy, sinners have soul too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh man. Okay. So it, it's it's a mixed bag with me. Um, okay. And, I, and I'll try to unpack this as quickly as possible. Um, <sighs> point one. Yes, I agree. It is just a song. Got you there. Um, number two, I mean, I've always known it as the, the Black National Anthem growing up, but um, there was a time and a place where it was necessary, and I just kind of feel, again, like I say all the time, it's one thing to know history, it's another to live in it. Do I think it's necessary at the Super Bowl or any sporting event? No, I don't think we need it there. Um, does it require this overreaction every freaking time it happens? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, okay, we got it. You don't like it. You don't have to like it. No one's making you like it, you know. But when, especially the, the the issue, and I said this the last time, is when leaders, yes, take these harsh, bigoted, divisive stances, and then at the other side of their mouth saying they want to unify people. You can't unify people if you won't even hear them, you know. And mm -hmm. that happens on all sides. Again, and where conservatives also lost me is when the uh, Kansas City Boys Choir and the Kansas City Girls Choir got yes. their asses up there in Kansas City, the opening yes. game, and sang the Black National Anthem, and y'all booed them damn kids. And I'm, I ain't letting that go because we're the first, the first ones, protect the kids, protect the kids. Now, you know the adults put these kids up to it, right? So go after the fucking adults, right? After the performance, oh, that was nice, baby. And then you, you go online and do what you want to do to the adults, right? But the these kids are being fed something, right? They're being fed a narrative that people who look like your white asses don't like them. Mm -hmm. And then they get on a stage in this massive arena and they see people that the adults in their lives says don't like them, booing them. You see where you lost? Okay, cool. You lost. So you lost me on that. It is just the damn song, you know? Again, I don't think it's necessary, but it is just a damn song. And the fact that we are crying about this and not the fact that we are about to lose another fucking set of elections, that's what we need to be focused on. I don't even fuck about a goddamn song right now. I'm like, what is the strategy? Because we clearly, and we're about to talk about it, just lost bigly again. And y'all want to sit up here and talk about who's singing the, the Black National Anthem versus America, the Beautiful versus the Star Spangled Band. I don't care. They're all songs. I don't need, my patriot, my patriotism is not pre predicated on whether I like this song, that song, or that one. I don't care. You know, I don't have to know the National Anthem. I don't have to know any of these damn songs. We're good. If it doesn't make you more of an American, less of an American, any person that has a problem with the country, everyone has a fucking problem with this country, whether you say it or not. Everyone has a problem with it. Doesn't yeah. mean you don't like it. Doesn't mean you don't want to be here. Doesn't mean you want you you, you want to go some, live somewhere else. Because trust me, you have the free will to go do it. So cut the fuckery. It's just a song. And we'll wait for the next tantrum, which will probably be at the opening game next year, wherever the fuck is going to be. Okay, really quick on that note. Um, uh -huh. I, I don't understand why we're still talking about it. It's not like it's the first time. Lift every but, but those same people. But those same people, if they said uh, instead of the Black National Anthem or Lift Their Voices Sing, we're going to do Try That in a Small Town, I bet you some of you two-tooth buckless people would have been cheering. 